Here we are going to find out the derivative of another trigonometric function that is cos ax plus b. So let me suppose uh, this is a function y equals cos ax plus b. Uh, in my country people say cos but uh, you, you can say it's cosine, right? So y equals to cosine ax plus b. Now uh, there is no any such uh, specified way to uh, to find out the derivative. The question is not saying you like to find out the derivative uh, with first principle by definition method or something like that. So we are going to simply, you know, simply we're going to find out derivative uh, as we used to do in the previous videos. Simply we're going to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So we'll be getting now derivative of cos ax plus b divided by dx and in previous video I had also mentioned that uh, whenever your uh, sine, cos, tan, co um, co cosine, you know anything like uh, say cosec, whatever you have uh, if they do not have any more power, if they have just the power is 1, the highest power is 1 like here is the highest power is 1 here right in that case you have to differentiate with respect to the angle here yeah, the angle is ax plus b Right. Uh, I'm just I'm saying like if you have cos square two uh, x plus three something like this, then in that case you need to differentiate with with uh, with this cos this 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 whole thing cos two x plus three because it is something like cos two x plus three and then whole to the power two. So that time this will work as a base and you need to use the power rule that case in that time. But here it is simple. You know cos two x plus three. And it has the power, highest power is 1. So we don't mention this, we don't write this. So in this case, you need to differentiate with the angle. In the case of cos, if there is tan or sine or cos, uh, you know, you know t uh, like cot or anything there is, doesn't matter, right? In, if you, you have this kind of condition, then you will be differentiating with the angle. So here, I have the angle ax plus b. So it is not matching, right? So I have to differentiate in next stage. Uh, with respect to ax plus b. So I will be writing here derivative of cos ax plus b divided by derivative, uh, derivative of cos ax plus b with respect to ax plus b. Now it's matching. It's matching. Right? So we don't have now any problem. So in next stage here I have divided by dax plus b so I have to multiply it also ax plus b as we had dx here so I'm putting here dx but don't cancel these two things alright we have to we have to individually find out the derivative of this part and derivative of this part okay so I'm finding out the derivative of the first part and that's going to be now simple uh, we have already learned that derivative of cos theta or cosine of theta with respect to theta is minus sine theta alright so theta is the angle here similarly here ax plus b is the angle and we're going to differentiate with respect to the angle only. So we'll get minus of sine ax plus b. And again, derivative of cos ax plus b. So a is the coefficient, so it will come outside coefficient any any number, right? And then derivative of x is one, and then plus derivative of b is a constant quantity, right? So it will be zero. So finally, my derivative dy over dx, I'm going to get uh, a times 1, that is a, so I'm writing minus a sine of ax plus b. That's it. And this is my required derivative of the given function cos ax plus b. I hope you understand it. And next video, we'll be doing more problem. I'll come with next problem that will give you even more concept. Catch you in the next video. Goodbye.